In this section, we will look at how Geelong Council held a six-month conversation with the community to collect feedback about Australia Day. The council wanted to know how people felt about the date and what changes they wanted to see. The council used a survey and two community forums to gather the views of residents. The survey received almost 1,000 responses, almost half from First Nations people. The results showed that most people supported a change in the way Australia Day was commemorated. The council also consulted with the Killangage Aboriginal Advisory Committee, a group that provides cultural guidance on First Nations issues. The committee advised the council on how to acknowledge and respect the indigenous history and culture of the region. Based on the feedback, the council decided to stop referring to January 26 as Australia Day and instead use it as a day of recognition and truth-telling. The council also moved the citizenship ceremonies to another date and planned to hold cultural events and activities on January the council said that these changes were made in the spirit of inclusion and participation, and that they aimed to educate the public on the true history of colonial Australia. The council hoped that these changes would help heal the intergenerational trauma experienced by Indigenous Australians and foster a more respectful and harmonious community. Geelong Council's decision to stop celebrating Australia Day on January 26 is a contrast to some other Victorian councils that have decided against holding citizenship ceremonies or any formal activities on the controversial date. For example, the Borough of Queenscliff is one of the councils that has not changed its Australia Day plans. The Borough of Queenscliff Mayor, Ross Abels, said that the council respects the views of others but believes that January 26 is a day to celebrate the diversity and achievements of all Australians. He also said that the council has a strong relationship with the local Wadawurrung people and supports their right to express their feelings about the date. The Borough of Queenscliff will hold a citizenship ceremony and an awards presentation on January 26, as well as a smoking ceremony and a welcome to country by a Wadawurrung elder. Other Victorian councils that have not changed their Australia Day plans include Ballarat, Bendigo, Greater Shepparton, Mildura and Warrnambool. These councils have said that they will continue to hold citizenship ceremonies and other events on January 26, while also acknowledging the history and culture of the Indigenous people. Some of these councils have also said that they will consult with their communities and Aboriginal groups about the future of Australia Day. On the other hand, Geelong Council has joined three other Victorian councils that have stopped recognising January 26 as Australia Day. These are Yarra, Derbin and Marybeck Councils. These councils have said that they will use the date to acknowledge the First Nations peoples and their history of dispossession and trauma. They have also said that they will advocate for the federal government to change the date of Australia Day. Geelong Council made its decision after consulting with its community and finding that 68% of respondents wanted a change in the way the day is commemorated. All of the 447 First Nations respondents to the survey also wanted a change. These are some of the ways that Geelong Council's decision contrasts with some other Victorian councils that have decided against holding citizenship ceremonies or any formal activities on January 26th.